Okay. Welcome everyone, this is Kurtin's channel. Now we are back to our two episodes of two semi-ronic chapters and comparison. Featured by Wild Geek, Lack of Legends versus the Mobile Legend by Gang. But before that, please like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the bell button to be notified to our new next episode video. Let's do this! The mortal mages of Runeterra wielded wild magic, heedless of the consequences beyond their own world. Their reckless use of magic attracted the hunger of the Darkin, who sent their finest warriors to conquer this new world. Barras traveled to Runeterra with the second wave of invaders, and with his crystalline bow, he assassinated enemy commanders and champions, helping the Darkin defeat the mortal armies with ever greater ease. He was a deadly killer who loved to torment his foes with arrows, driving them to insanity before closing for the kill. Soon after Aatrox's fall, Varus was cornered by Vastayan Moonstalkers and human mages in service of a golden armored warrior queen. They bound him within his crystal bow, leaving him to howl with impotent rage. By now, the corrupting influence of the Darkin was known, and the warrior queen alone wielded the deadly bow in the final battle of the war, losing the last vault that broke the bridge to the Darkin world forever. At the end of the Darkin War, the Queen carried Varus's bow to the land that would become known as Ionia. Her last act was to imprison the bow deep within a lightless cell, sunk deep beneath a mountain temple overlooking the village of Pallas. There it remained, imprisoned by the natural magics of Ionia and the ritual ministrations of its guardians. The bow remained hidden deep underground for centuries, unknown, untouched, all but forgotten. Ionia, a land of magic, a land of balance, a land of light, but not always a land of peace. Just as there are creatures within Ionia who seek to upset its order, so too are there those who fight to preserve it. Arrows of protection, hunters of monsters. Valmar and Kai are two such hunters, but not all monsters can be defeated with bow and steel, and not all darkness can be so easily banished by the light. In the Nystrom Forest of Ionia. Lose, damn you! Not yet. Hey, over here! Palmar! Move swift as the wind, and let flesh and steel strike as one. I serve the great balance, with heart and steel, in thought and deed. Very poetic, guy. Now are you gonna help me before I bleed to death? The thing there is ready. Trust me, it doesn't feel that way. Risky move going for the high cut to the beast's throat. Do not talk to me about risky moves. What were you thinking, leaping up from the tree like that? I was giving you an opening. You think I needed one? I don't know. I just reacted. That has always been your problem, Val. You react without thinking. Later that day. How much longer? Smells like it's ready. No, I mean, how much longer until we reach palace? It's a day's ride to my mother's house. Assuming you're stitching halt. There's not a surgeon in Ionia that can match my skill with a needle. You can wrestle the spirit walker and those stitches would not split. Feels much better now. It's not even painful. The serpent leaf poultice dulls the pain, but not the mind. Serpent leaf? Wait, isn't that poisonous? It can be if it is not picked correctly, and you know how to pick it correctly. Yes, it's a beautiful flower, but it's a predator that lures insects with its scent and colors. It paralyzes its prey, then slowly devours them. Beautiful and leaf, the perfect hunter. But there are creatures that mimic serpent leaf prey. Immune to the plant sting, they eat it from the inside when the leaves close. 
the roles of predator and prey are reversed. Just so, even the greatest hunters are not invulnerable. They can be killed and should have a care what prey they hunt. I understand, but do you remember what the seer at Shoujin told us? Yes, tell me. He said our souls would be as one. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. My mother will love you. The Hirana Academy doesn't give its highest honor to stupid people. What if she does not like you? Do you love me? Yes. Then she'll like you. Welcome to Talon. I thought your mother was the one being honored. She is, but the villagers are very proud of me. Mother tells anyone who'll listen of my exploits. Your exploits? Our exploits. What do you think I put in all the letters I sent her? You tell her about the monsters? That he does, Slayer Kai. But I often wish he would leave out some of the gorier details. I don't really need to know how badly I got at Carnaton's things. Welcome home, my son. I had a revered uncle who won the Jade Owl from the Academy at Hirana, but I never thought to see an Ember Rose. Nor I. The final debate was hard fought against one of the Shoujin finest masters of rhetoric. Don't let her modesty fool you, guy. I've seen the scrolls. She crushed him. Made him look like a half-witted novice. Modesty is a shining light, Val. It prepares the mind to receive knowledge and the heart truth. You know the Navarian epilogues? I am from Navarra. My father read them to me as a child. My son has chosen his art light wisely. Is that really a Volkodalg horn? Did you really slay an iron bag? What about the Merc Wolf of Shonga? Was it really as big as they say? Do you think we should tell them? I'm not sure their fragile little hearts could stand it. Maybe just one. So, how did I do? Darago, she hates you. <laughs> Is that what she said to you before we came upstairs? No, she loves you. That was something else. She says that we have to take the beast horn to the Alusin cage as an offering. The temple on the cliff? Yes. Every traveler brings something that has shaped them. It's said to strengthen the temple's magic. I had forgotten how high this damn place is. We have climbed higher. Remember the Ares of the Siren? I'd rather not. What's wrong? You look pale. I slept badly. I only woke when you knocked over the helmet. Why do you even have that ugly thing? It's a trophy hunted from a pair of Noxian war scouts. What happened to the other scout? Slippery bastard sailed back to Noxus. We have come a long way, you and I. Further than any could guess. You will walk the rest of the way with me? Always. Mother Kimela told me the carvings here can move a soul to tears. There's a lot here can do that. Welcome back, Slayer Palmar. Master Kobayashi, allow me to introduce my heartline, Kai. The horn of a Volcarac that once terrorized the forest dwellers of Mistorak. You killed a Volcarac? We both did. To fight as an arrow of protection is noble. We serve the great balance. Present your offering before the waters that bring life to us all. I like him. I love him. I know. And that will make all this the more painful for you. Make more painful? You must leave him, Bob. Walk away from all you see. And do it now, or you will know pain like no other. What? Why? The magic of this place is ancient. It weaves the past and future. It can renew that which is broken. Such power keeps what is chained within slumbering and offers glimpses of things that have not yet come to pass. What have you seen? It is what I have felt. Your soul's despair as it wanders lost and alone in darkness. The pain of unimaginable loss. The life of an arrow is fleeting, built of nothing but direction and intent. I know the demo. Then you already know the truest arrow flies alone. I serve the great balance, with heart and steel, in thought and deed. I can't! I can't lose you! 
You will not. I am your heart light. No, don't go, please. I will always be with you. Don't leave me. I'm begging you. One needs only the glimmer of hope. Thalmar, don't! You must not! It wants you! You said the magic here could renew that which is broken. He is my heart light, and I have to try to save him. That sound you hear is an arrow of retribution. know this flesh. Who am I? Belmar. Kai. Mortal names. They mean nothing. I wear newly woven flesh of meat and bone and skin to bear my form. But I am eternal. I am the heart seeker. The swift bolt from the darkness. I am... Varus. No! Wait! I don't... How? Die! Where are you? Die! No! God, no! Not this ball! Please! This is my flesh now. Valmar offered it willingly in return for your life. My life? No, I don't want it! Please, I beg you, whatever you are, let me die! Your time will come, Kai. 
But the flames of our vengeance will consume a multitude of souls before yours. Put your damn bags into it. The wards are almost broken. How soon you upstart apes forget. This bow is once my prison. But no prison can hold my kind forever. Too long since I sucked the sweat stink of mortal terror. This flesh is new, but it is fast. Mages far greater than you sought my death a long time ago. They failed as well. This pain is my gift to you. Savor it. Murder carries a price, Noxian Dog. No Val. It wants you to hate. Don't let it in. How can you not hate them, Valmar? They killed your Heartlight. Look. Do you see? He was cut down like an animal. God, no. I can't watch you die again. Die, please. Then don't. Think of me as I was. A happy memory we share. Eating dinner with your mother. I remember. You and I. Yes. At my mother's table. Family all around us. Yes. Hold to that. Remember that love in that moment. There is no hate. No pain. Family, yes. Seek solace at home and half with those you love. See what horrors your kind is capable of inflicting. Then tell me I am any worse. This is how we are remembered? Demons? How gratuitously petty. We were so much more. Spider-Man's 